All right, I'm going to go to your phone calls here because I'm trying to kind of switch the show up a little bit because I never seem to get to calls. And then I'm going to get into the news. I'm going to give you my take from deep research on what's really going on with this whole civil rights movement, as Chucky Schumer calls it, for, quote, gay and lesbian rights and what's happening on that front. I'm going to break down exactly what's happening. Well, you can turn on the television and tell what's going on there. You can turn on any Hollywood television show and you can see the agenda. And by the way, on record, on record, the agenda is admitted to be a UN official global program working with national producers of every major country part of UNESCO to stabilize population by reducing fertility using soap operas and sitcoms. This is directly from the United Nations. Going to be getting to that. I just want to let you know what this is all about. And then they make it a civil right and avant-garde and really cool. And then they make it that you're hateful if you're not for it. And so by all means, teach our five-year-olds uh, not just about sex, while well, that would be pedophilia, uh, teach them about same-sex relationships, and it's a civil right. Just ask the BBC, with their top host continually caught with uh, dead bodies of children. I mean, it's not enough to have sex with children. I mean, you got to have sex with dead bodies. Uh, I mean, every week, some new BBC reporter it comes out uh, you know, is pleading guilty to sex with small children or sex with dead bodies or Satan worship. Uh, but, but again, I'm being hateful. The truth is the ultimate thrill for these people is to force this on everyone. I, I said I'd get to this later. I went to a movie last night with my wife. We got there about 25 minutes early. I told her I didn't want to get there early. I said, they, they play TV ads for TV shows before this. I said, the trailers are too long. We get there, and we're subjected to one ad after another for current ABC shows where the dads are all idiots, and then they cut to another show. called The Fosters. And it's two women. One of them's a cop, of course, the authority figure. The message is the state is your husband. And she's the man. You know, she, she's, the, uh, she's the boss. And they've got a house just full of foster kids they've taken from their biological parents. And they say that. The bad guys, I went and looked it up last night, but I could see it in the end. The bad guys in every episode, I guess, they've had four episodes so far, are biological parents. But don't worry, the female cop, she, she goes and takes them out. Daddy takes them out. <laughs> and then they say real aggressively in the voiceover, it's a new kind of family. America's new family. And it's the blonde woman, the, the house slave, with the other uh, people you know, of the state, and she wears the uniform, and she crushes the parents, the biological parents. And then the son... Uh, who is the biological uh, son, you know, they say, oh, you're the biological son. He goes, there is no biological son here. It's like, oh, the f see, the only way to prove you're good is to get rid of masculinity, get rid of the family, because the family is hateful. And I've shown you textbooks on air that they give the CPS, that they teach at the University of Texas, where it says the family belongs to an arcane uh, age. It's, it needs to be done away with. We've done whole shows reading these quotes, and, and we're going to get rid of it, and we're going to do all this. And all this is really about at a scientific level is so they can euthanize you, and you won't have any family stand up for you. And when you read the UN programs on this, it's not about you're dancing around together, you know, and your gay love and all this. Because, I mean, I'll be honest with people, quite frankly, this isn't even on my radar screen. People think, oh, you hate what I do. That makes it more fun. No, come on, give me a break. Let's talk about the real world here. Let's talk about chemicals that are put in the food and water to sterilize people. Let's talk about uh, how they shot up the gay community in New York with the HIV and the hepatitis vaccines. Is that because they loved you? No, they used your promiscuity as the vector to spread it.
Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. And then coming up, I'm going to get into uh, well, some of this incredible news. St. Louis police chief wants drones to patrol high crime areas, and that's where they've had the military doing open martial law drills as well. UAVs would also track suspicious vehicles. Uh, drone spies on sunbathing woman looks through apartment windows, uh, then falls out of the sky. That's a prisonplanet.com article. You can see video uh, of all of that happening. And then continuing uh, with uh, some of the uh, other news, that we're going to be getting to that is just incredibly important, obviously, to say the least. Uh, if you go up to Infowars.com, you can uh, actually see some of these headlines. What's happened is, is I had the stack of news here in front of me, and now I can't find it, so I'm going to the website myself. Uh, friend, uh, Michael Hastings marked for death. And what I did was, is I actually changed uh, that headline to make it a little bit more accurate to what the uh, guest said on the show yesterday. Michael Hastings told he would be hunted down and killed over McChrystal story. So that's a pretty darn important piece of news right there. Because I'll be honest with you, I hadn't followed Michael Hastings too closely until he died. I mean, I mean, I knew who he was and what he'd done, but I didn't know all the details that in his book he said the army told you, we will kill you for this. You are a dead man by multiple officers. Uh, I didn't know that uh, he told his friends in country in Afghanistan that he was told he was going to be killed. I didn't know he told them right before he died that I've been told they're coming to kill me. Uh, I didn't know uh, you know, the details that he was about to break a big CIA story and or that the family's scared to talk and that they believe he was killed. And now that's been in the news for two days. I saw that uh, in an RT article at the bottom of the story on Tuesday night. So we called uh, Staff Sergeant up and got him on the broadcast, Biggs, and he went to the funeral, talked to the wife, talked to the family. I mean, they believe he was murdered. They believe the evidence points towards that. And that's big news that his wife, you know, said, quote, I'm going to take down whoever did this. And, and, and now we have a new article out today. Michael Hastings told he would be hunted down and killed over McChrystal story. Friends and family call for independent investigation. I mean, that's bombshell news. And the controlled corporate media is so cowardly that this has been out now on my site for over a day. And it's been out total for two days. And even RT didn't think it should be the headline. Just buried in there. Oh, the family, by the way, thinks he was probably murdered and he was death threatened. They said they were coming to kill him and uh, he was told by army officers. I mean, the family should be being interviewed. Uh, we're trying to you know, talk to him right now and they just say they have too much grief and they're scared. But in a month or something, this will just be swept under the rug. This will all just be swept under the rug. And this is the type of overwhelming information that we're covering on this broadcast. I mentioned this yesterday. I've since watched the local newscast about it where they report on it with a straight face. And it's so incredible uh, that the young man who wore a pro-Second Amendment NRA shirt that said, defend our rights, was arrested. And now they've done a gag order saying he and his family can't talk to the press about their right to keep and bear arms. 
mean, that's completely illegal what the judge did. In California, judge orders First Amendment outlawed in bank graffiti case. And with a straight face, they're like, oh, he wrote anti-Federal Reserve messages in water-soluble chalk. You know, like kids go out and draw pictures of flowers and a house and clouds or a puppy dog or Superman. They don't arrest them. They only arrest you if it's political, the most protected speech. And then the judge says, the First Amendment, not only are we going to throw the book at you for something that's clearly protected speech, but we're going to not let you use the First Amendment as a defense. And that's on the news like it's a good thing. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, do you understand that this is like opening the portal on a spaceship to space and letting the atmosphere out of the capsule? This is politically, societally, culturally suicide. And I want to be clear whenever I get into this whole situation with the, quote, gay rights in the media, this is all designed so that when you say, hey, what about a man and a woman? What about this institution? What about it in, to where they can say, oh, you're hateful. Oh, you don't want totally open borders. You're hateful. Well, nobody else has totally open borders. Oh, I don't want government-run health care. Oh, well, you're racist and hateful. Well, I don't want to turn my guns in. Oh, you're racist. You see this, and it's simply meant to say you're a demon, you're a criminal, you're bad. They have a national poll out where a large percentage of Democrats say they believe the Tea Party are terrorists that should be arrested. Well, Mark Dice went out on the street, and every person but one person he talked to, that's not edited, folks, except for brevity. We're, he's not just showing you the people that said arrest the Tea Party, arrest all gun owners, put them in FEMA camps. That's what most Californians agreed with. They all spoke English, clearly. They were black, white, Hispanic, Asian, you name it. And they would stop and say, I agree with you. You don't have to convince me they need to be arrested. They're ready to arrest us, folks. I know about this from working on family court cases for people as a media person who has folks come to me. I've been to the family court. I've looked at the statistics. I've talked to whistleblowers. A large percentage of the children being taken from families, good families, are being done by weird gangs, sex gangs, uh, weird... Uh, Weird sex cults. I mean, in ancient Rome and ancient Babylon, usually the things were run by strange sex cults. And they, they did different things, but the point was it would be sex cults, heterosexual, whatever. It was all sorts of weird ones. Look it up in history, and you find out that, you know, the sheriff uh, and her wife, who's also a sheriff's deputy, you know, I've seen this all over the country, will have four foster kids. And then you're told by inside sheriff's departments, you know those were taken from families right here in town and given to them. You know, it's, it's, it's things like that. And then you go and observe it. And then you go and find out families, they'll even brag and go, man, you got some really good, healthy kids, you know, ages two and five. They're ours. And then the courts are run, in more than a third of the cases, by... Kind of Janet Reno, uh, big cis ladies. And the fact is, that's what it is. And then they take your kids and give it to their friends who are a female cult. Just like in the Justice Department, they would call in the FBI top guys. They'd call in the Justice Department men and say, uh, you know, take your clothes off, scum. You know, uh, drink water out of the toilet. Uh, move your stuff to the bathroom. I can't say a lot of it on air. You can go read the lawsuits they settled. And it turned out they, are, they weren't even really lesbians. They were just dominators. So they would also demand sex from the men because that's a big part of this. It's about power. And they take testosterone. These are just like supercharged crazy women. And, man, they're just taking everybody's kids. They, I mean, it, it, is, it is devilish. And I got to say, it's the, and, and there are a lot of women that are you know gay or whatever who are nice people. I'm not saying 
this as uh, I'm talking about what is there, what is a fact. And then they use the nice gay community as fundraisers of this is your civil right. You better give 10, 20, 30 percent of your earnings. And that's what that's what uh, the mayor of Chicago, the godfather, is in the news saying gays are the new Jews. That's a quote. Because that they don't have family. They don't have anything. All they have are these are these dinners. All they have are these banquets. And then at the banquets, they teach them, no, you need kids. Don't you want kids? Actually, I do want kids. We're going to get them for you. Gays are the next Jews for fundraising. There's the, there's the headline uh, out of the news. What is that, Politico? That's the examiner, Washington Examiner. So I'm telling you how this really works, folks. Just like in a small town, you, you get old white guys getting together, uh, boss hogging the mainly white population or the black population, or you'll get black gangs feeding on black gangs, or you'll get Hispanic gangs feeding on Hispanic gangs, uh, or Jewish gangs feeding on Jewish gangs. I mean, people put themselves into gangs, and I'm going to your calls. It's just that, the, what about the civil right of not having foreign banks steal $85 billion a month from the American people? What about the civil right of not having General Electric above the law and able to shut down all the power plants that they don't own, so only they make giant profits out of artificial scarcity. What about the civil right of not having hydrofluorosilicic acid that on record lowers IQs added, added to the water? What about the civil right of not being taxed on property taxes so much you, you can't afford to send your children where you want to school so that you've got to send them to a government training camp? What about the civil right of not having illegal wars carried out in our name all over the world? What about the civil right of not of of uh, not having the NSA sitting there illegally spying on all of us? No, no, no. Instead, it's the civil right that you get free housing, which means the government doles everything out and they can bankrupt the middle class or you get the civil right if you get to come to America and get welfare and free uh, tax refund checks and everything is really a corporate supplement. So you'll work for wages that nobody else could live on to lower the overall wages. Or you read the official Earth Policy Institute and, 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 and the UN has official programs on this. Look up the UN's use of sitcoms and dramas produced by Hollywood companies for worldwide distribution Eco-economy, building an economy for the earth. Chapter 10, stabilizing population by reducing fertility using soap operas and sitcoms. And they're now putting homosexual messages in these. And that's why Obama was in Africa and the Africans got real upset about it. Because they understand, just like GMO food being shipped in, GMO seeds... It is an attempt to break down the only thing these poor people have is their families. They get the fact that they take care of grandma, somebody's going to take care of them. They get the fact that they got their people, their peeps. They understand that, folks. And this is purely, these messages are not about, you know, the 30s and 40s and 50s and areas of New York where, uh, you know, people in their own gangs were mean to uh conspicuously consuming uh homosexuals uh and so some people got beat up all because it was culturally seen as okay to beat up gay people because again that's predatory see now it's just flipping it predatory where the where 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 the abused have been taught how to abuse so now they go out and, and everybody's been taught to be politically correct so people don't even care but then it doesn't matter when your kids are taken and then they won't tell you where they went. They went to groups in many cases that can't reproduce, whether that's heterosexual couples or homosexual couples. And you also have this destruction of language that's going on that I find to be extremely frustrating. Where they arrest people in Europe now for using the word homosexual because someone feels like it's hurtful to them. Just like they'll arrest you in Europe if you use the name for someone from Africa, the scientific name. I mean, the word Caucasian is not a racist slur. If someone starts using it as a racist slur, should we ban it? 
This is an attack on language. And if you go look at the man on the street interviews we do in Austin or the man on the street interviews in L.A., most of these people do not know what planet they're on. But they know politically they better do whatever the television says. And, and, and in closing, and then I'll go to your phone calls, as I saw last night when I went to a movie, and, and, and they have this stuff on before family movies too. They are bombarding with every message where males are bad, fathers are bad. It's rare to see a pro-father message. Mother, father changed a parent one, parent two on passport applications. Uh, the federal government has said that it's a EEOC violation in the federal government. If you talk about uh, your husband or your wife or a, or a wedding you're going to, you see, those of us that are attracted to women, men, we're bad. Women that are attracted to men, you're bad. It, it, and, and that's not saying the entire group of people, because I, I will not give you the power, some of you want, to think I don't like you, so that makes your lifestyle more fun. I mean, give me a break. I'm light years past all this. Okay, for people out there that are, that are obsessed with this. Sexuality for me is a very small part of my life. And, and, and it's all part of this arrested development of people shoving their sexuality in front of you. It's like people at work throughout my life, now you've seen it, who will kiss in front of each other or grab on each other or, or, or stand in front of the window you know, and sit there and hug and kiss and rub on each other in front of everybody. They're doing it in front of everybody because... It's just a form of getting in your space. And, and that's what this is. I mean, I am sick of, I can't you watch television because it's all anti-male, anti-family, absolute bias, and then shoving in the face 24-7. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't like how they are, Nickelodeon bragged a few years ago that they were going to sexualize under 10s with both heterosexual and homosexual messages. And then you look at the clothes they try to sell for little girls, it's like hooker outfits for seven-year-olds. I mean, and again, that is offensive. That's, that's sexualizing, it's soft child porn. You look at the billboards and the ads you know, to sell some of the biggest designers, and it's, it's, it's soft child porn. This is the decadence of the ruling elite projected onto us, but it's more than that. Above that, there's a method of the madness to break up the family so the state is the mommy and the daddy. And shows like the Fosters, the man of the house is a cop woman, and they literally go out and grab people's kids, and the bad guys are the biological parents trying to get their kids back. I mean, it's incredible. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught 
going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow, uh, plum trees, grape trees, they will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit Lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing.